Ghost Gen 3 here everybody. How's everybody doing? Good I hope. Here's a Sentry Safe Auto Safe. That's my video for today. This thing's really cool. It's made some good metal. Um, as you can tell by my hands, I have average, I guess, smaller hands, but I'm going to measure this so I can show you guys how this works. Take a look at that side because you're going to see the cable. That's what it looks like all the way around in the bottom. Uh, pardon the cat hair there. But uh, I put these right here just so it can <coughs> stay on, on surfaces without sliding because this is smooth metal. Here's the front. This is almost like a lunch pail, like those kids' lunch pails that they have. It's about what the size of it. So I wanted to show you this will go, it's your auto safe basically. For, you can put it under your seat. This is a little bit bigger, so some seats it probably won't fit. Um, and the trunk, you know, for some cars or some SUVs, you don't have a trunk. And then you could lock this and um, put this in there, but I'm going to show you how. This is the key. And uh, let me uh, measure this for you guys first, so you guys, in case anyone's curious. Um, <clears throat> lengthwise here is eight and almost nine inches, eight and a half inches in length and width. It's probably about all the way to here because this bends over here, so probably about six and a half inches. And in height, Four inches, four inches tall, and the width over here on the side here is six inches, and then up here is a longer because of that. So six there, and this thing weighs about it's not that heavy. Well, that's a decent weight. I want to say maybe a pound, something like that. So two, got to be a pound. Um, anyways, let's get to the inside of it. Let's do a whole turn right here. Oops. And there we go. Let me take the key. Now the key won't come out, by the way. Um, once you turn it like this, you're not going to lose it. You got see the locket right here. There we go. And then that locks it. So the key will not come out until you physically close it back down, turn it, <coughs> and it's and it's locked. So that's kind of cool because uh, the key's in there. While you you don't need to obviously keep this thing open all day or nothing. So and it comes with two keys, by the way. So. This is what it looks like on the inside, and it's rubbery. It's got uh, lined with some rubber here, which is pretty cool. Same with this part up here, so it'll take care of your toys, whatever you got in there. This is plastic right here, this part. Uh, that's where the locking mechanism is right here. You can see that. You can't see the locking mechanism, but that's where it is. On the side here, those bolts that come out are the ones that uh, lock inside. There's another one on this side as well. There you go, right here. You can see that. There we go. And here is where you can change the lock. I mean, the cable. Um, this thing is probably about depth-wise in here, three, almost four inches. So three and a, three and three fourths of an inch uh, depth. And so that's pretty good right there. It's not bad. I'm sure they have bigger safer depending on your, on what you need it for. Um, let me show you the cable lock. It just came out. This is the part right here that's important. I'll show you that works. And it's your typical, like a bike lock, you know, and it comes with it. And this thing is about, let's measure this, because I know somebody's gonna end up asking me and I didn't measure. So this thing is about, from tip to tip, it's two feet, seven inches, 31 inches. So two feet, seven inches in length. Uh, it's how long the cable is. Now, the reason for this right here is you have these holes right here on both sides. So depending on where you need it, like if you're going to store it here, you're going to put it in uh, your trunk, whatever, in those holes basically what happens is you put it in, <coughs> you see that right here? So let me turn this around. I'll do it from this side so you guys can see. That hole, this is going to go in there, this nipple part, and then that opening is going to go slide down. As you can see this right here where it slides. So you're going to put it in there all the way. That's what it looks like on the inside. I don't want this to slam my finger. So you see the head of it right there. And what happens is it slides down. So now it's locked. And when this is closed down, it covers this hole right here. So this is not going to move. It's only going to move when it's open right here. So I'll show you from the other side, from the inside, so you guys can see right here. You'll see it. See me putting it in right here. And then down. And it's... Pretty much going to stay there, and then once you close this, it's not going to move. 
So if that's closed, so you can tell there's a hole where it entered, and it's not moving. Now what you do is basically, you, you have to take the cable out first, and let's just say, um, I'm going to use this cable lock right here, this other one. Now that's just for a bike right here. But let's just say this is under your, your car seat. So what you do is take this loop, take this, go right through it, and now you just slide it through. So this is basically what, whatever you have, whether it's under your car or anything, basically you're going to put it through like this, and now it's like your lock right here. So whatever it is, that's what you're going to do. And then you're going to take your um, cable lock here, put it down in here, and now it's locked. So this ain't going anywhere unless they cut it with bolt cutters. And yeah, they can do that. Um, this is just another step to helping you, you know, it takes the criminal longer to get in your vehicle or wherever you store this. And the longer, hopefully someone sees them or you and, you know, they, they get arrested or shot. <laughs> yeah, wishful thinking there, huh? So anyways, that's how this locks like this. So you want to get the cable out and change it to another location. You basically open it up, take the cable out, and then to whatever it's uh, tied to or around. And you put it out to a new location. So you can move it from place to place. If I was going to put it in a trunk or somewhere else, I would like to hide it so it's not in plain view someone looking into your window. So that would be a better idea there. And uh, that way nobody's going to uh, you know, get ideas. Oh, you got a little safe there. So anyways, now let's get to the size so that way you guys can you know, figure out what can you keep in here. So I brought my Glock 26 out. Uh, this thing's already been checked. There's no, there's no uh, bullets in it. This is a Glock 26, and for the most part, most of you know the size. Fits perfectly right in there. Look at this. Look at that. Awesome. So now you guys get an idea for guns. I, I have seen some bigger ones. Um, I got this at Costco uh, online, and it was on sale for like I think 20 bucks. I think that's worth it. So fits right in there. Look at that. I mean, that's awesome. It's like it was made for it. Now, you want to put the magazine in. Yes, it has bullets. It's not going to shoot. So, this is a 15 rounder. If I had the flat 10 one um, that's plush down here, it'll fit perfectly in with a 10 round magazine. Like that with a 15, it will not. So, um, you turn it at that, at that angle, it's hitting over here. So, it's not going to work with a 15 round mag. But, 10 one, it will. Or 12, I'm sure. So, put your gun in there. Depending on how you carry it, whether you have a bullet in there already, I would personally. Put the mag in there. Lay it there. You're good to go. So, you can keep that. You can put another mag in there too. So, anyways, a Glock 26 fits in there. And for your revolver guys, and I'm one too, this is the. <clears throat> yes, this one is loaded, but I'm not going to take the rounds out. And this one is your Ruger LCR. 38 special plus B and that fits in there perfectly as well look at that just not a problem and obviously you guys know Ruger's uh, if not look at the videos um, I mean this is a short little gun will it fit with this kind of holster you know inside the pants holster yeah it will so I put these guns here so you guys could kind of get an idea of what it can hold you know and that's that's a good size Glock 26 um, anything bigger is probably not going to fit in there, but hey, if you really wanted to, you could take a, you know, still have to be a smaller medium sized gun and take it apart and put it in there, put the parts in there, but that wouldn't go that far. But anyways, it, to each his own. Now you know this fits in there. I mean, this fits in there beautifully. Like I said, this is rubber padded right here, which protects your guns. So I'm very happy about that. You know, I intended it for other guns anything you know I needed keys whatever uh, that I want to put in there here's a tape measure <laughs> fits in there huh why would you need a tape measure in there I don't know I just threw it in there <laughs> it's just to just to show you but basically this is the sentry safe auto safe and like I said with the lock right here hope you guys enjoyed this video like I said this is a, a great investment for 20 bucks I don't know what they're going for now maybe the same you can check but um, it's it's worth it. Uh, like I said, I think it's worth it. There's a Glock on top of there, so you can see the size, you know, of this. Now it's still not loaded. So now you know what fits in it. 
all right guys thank you subscribe if you wish hopefully and uh, click the like button if you like this video and you guys got ideas let me know I'll come up with some good videos more are coming you guys take care God bless